Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP script and in the previous video, we understood the concept of next page. Previously, our line we are previously we are only only getting one page in the output because we have not defined the next page. So after that, we defined the next page and whatever the line items are exceeding that are displaying onto the next page. Now we will go for further investigation on the same to same concept of next page. Now, as of now, our page one is acting as next page also. Suppose if I'm running the program, I'm giving the order number. I have two pages in the output. This is our first page. This is our data. And this is our line item data. So as of now, two pages in the output. Whenever I will go to next page, you can see this same information is repeating on the next page and whatever the line items are left, they are displaying on the next page. We all know main window is for continuous output. So whatever is accommodated on one page, rest of the line items are appearing on the next page. Now what customer is saying, okay, I understood that yes, rest of the line items should go to next page. But why, why this header information is repeating? I want the header information only, only on the first page. After that, if line items are exceeding from the next page onwards, it should only, only display the item data. And this is real world also. Yes, suppose if I'm buying 200 line items on the one page, if 100 line items are accommodating, it is not the case that it will display header information on all the pages. Yes, and rest of the line items are displaying on the next pages. Yes depends upon the customer requirement. Now what customer is saying, this information I only, only want on the first page. After that, I only, only want the item data. This concept is explained in smart form also. Now in this scenario, what we need to do? As of now, we have only one page and that is acting as main page also. Now what we will do, we will create a next page. And on the next page, we will only, only take the item data. So this is the solution for the same. Yes. So our next concept is creation of next page. If I will show you the smart form, you will understand fully. In smart form also, previously we have only one single page, page one, and that was acting as the next page also. Then we do not want header data on the pages after that. So what we did, we created a next page after that. And on that next page, we only, only took the windows which are required, which are required. So for the page one, then we did the changes for the page one. The next page will be what? Page two. Now, after that, for page two, the next pages will be page two only. Same to same approach we will follow here also. So it is important to understand the customer requirement because customer do not want the header data on the next pages. So it means we need to create a next page 
and on that next page we will only only go for item data so what i will do i will firstly create a page now currently i am in pages itself you all know with the help of title bar you can predict that where you are so currently i am in pages so i will create a next page so i will go for edit create element suppose i will give some name to the page suppose i will say next page okay suppose i will say next pg suppose description of the page will be next page for the best understanding i will give page 2 so that there will be no confusion page 2 i will go for okay so now we have two pages firstly i will go to page 1 now for page 1 the next page is not page 1 page 2 will be the next page and this is the most common mistake which we do we create the next page but we will not assign the next page so after first page will display what will be the next page next page will be page 2 now for page 2 what will be the next page for page 2 after that yes we always always want to display the next page only so what will be the next page for page 2 page 2 after that we only only want to display page 2 so yes so for page 2 what will be the next page page 2 now i will simply go to form and i will activate now we will take the windows on the page 2 now on the page 2 we only only want to display the item data item data so what i will do i will simply go now currently i am in page windows yes you all know how you can integrate windows on the page you need to go to page windows so i will go to edit i will go to create element and you can see all windows are appearing here but we only only want the item data on to the next page so i will only only take the windows for the item data now but i'll just check what this is item details label this is item details values item details values are in main window so i took the label order item number and item cost then i took the item weight so on the next page we took only two windows i will go for form and activate now we will see how it will work important concept now i will run the script i will go for order number 1 now you can see we have two pages in the output now if i will go to next page now for page 1 what will be the next page page 2 so this will be our next page page 2 now have you seen all header information is not displaying we are only only getting the item data yes now customer will tell just make it at the start of the page itself so what we will do we'll just increase we'll just decrease the top margin now i will go for simply simply just please make sure you are on the right page currently i am on page 2 
so i will just go for decreasing of top margin suppose top margin 1 cm for the item details label similarly i will decrease the top margin of this also i will go for suppose 1 comma 20 i will go for form and activate now we will see i will go to sc38 transaction code i will run now Now we have two pages. This is first page. And this is our next page. I'll just make it little bit increase because I gave a space of 0.2. So it is overlapping. I'll just make it 1,3. I will go to page windows. Just make sure you are on right page. Because now we do not have one page. We have two pages. Page 2. I'll just make it 1,4. We'll go for activate. Now I will run and check. This is our first page. And this is our next page. It is now working fine. And yes, customer will agree for this. Some many times customer will ask for these kind of requirement. So in that case, you need to go for next page. So what is the summary of this particular video? Till the last video, we have only one page. And that page is acting as next page also. So everything is repeating on the next page. But yes, line item data will be different because we took in the main window and main window is for continuous output. Now customer came up with a requirement. I do not want header information on all the pages. If line items are exceeding, the on the next pages, only line item should display why header information is repeating. So in that case, you need to create a next page. And on that next page, took only those things which are required. So we created the next page. Now for the page one, what will be the next page? Page two. And for page two, what will be the next pages after that page two only because we do not want anything related to page one. After that, we want page two only. So we took the, we created the page two. We assigned the next page for page one as page two. For page two, next page is page two only. And yes, we integrated the windows onto the page 2 and yes after that we decreased the top margin so that it will start from the starting of the next page itself. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.